This is the Dell Power Edge 6800, 130 amp power supply. This is a repurposed 12 volt adjustable up to 14.2, 14.3, just depends. Uh, it's rated at 112 amps at 115 to 127 volts and at 200 to 240 volts 130.8 amps uh, it's been modified so it will run up to 14.2 volts um, it's got an on off switch it's got an on off switch it's got a fan variable speed it can get very loud and keep it very cool yeah that's the fans all the way down not too awfully loud right there um, it's got voltage voltage adjust um, we're gonna hook the probes up here show you the voltage Probe hooked up here. Get the probe hooked up. You'll notice I'm turning the, the variable pot, turning it, increasing the voltage. There's 13 8, 13.9, 14.0. 14.1 14.2 and it's got an automatic fail safe that will cut it off anything 14.25 I'm sorry the probe just keeps coming out on me um I think these are set anything above about 14.25 up to 14.3. Yep, there it goes. Shut down at 14.3. So with a 1K pot, uh, I'm using 1K potentiometer in the voltage here. Um, it won't go above 14.2, 14.3 before it shuts down. Um, if you're running this unit and you're turning the voltage up and you don't have a meter, When it gets up to the point to where the voltage shuts down, it's not a problem with the unit. It's a fail safe. Just turn the voltage back down and cycle the on off switch, and it'll come right back on. So, it's not a problem with the, uh, with the unit itself. It's, it's just a fail safe. It's surge protected, overload protected, uh, short circuit protected. Um, if something happens, you were to short these two out, then it just shuts off. Goes back to zero. Then it'll come right back up. So, fully protected. Surge protected, voltage protected. Uh, short circuit protected uh, some of the models have the binding post and the lug hookup some of them are without I can do either or these things can be further modified you can put your own digital voltmeter in them um, some of the guys have even took the units out of the chassis and put them in nice rack enclosures or nice stainless enclosures or nice diamond plate enclosures whatever you know they wanted to do to further enhance these units basically what I've done is I've got you a, a, a 13 to 14.2 volt power supply um, it'll run on 110 or it will run on 220 
Uh, they come with a power plug, heavy duty power plug, and basically what these are are they get you going. You know, some people just buy them and run them this way. Some people fully customize them with volt meters and everything else. So the ones uh, with just the lugs are a hundred dollars and the ones with the, the nice binding post here and the lugs are a hundred and fifteen um, I've sold I've converted and sold uh, over a hundred of these now and the only problems really that I've ran into with them is people with low voltages either in their homes or in their shops um, you know these things need at least 115 volts uh, or they will shut down so in other words if you're running anything less than 115 volts uh, when you put a load on this on this power supply it's going to pull your voltage down below 115 in the wall so that's going to pull your voltage down on your power supply so anything 115 and above uh, under a load you're going to get full voltage anything below 115 with the load on the power supply you're not going to be able to run it all the way up to 14 volts uh, that's really the only problem i've ran into uh, with folks purchasing these but they're good units great units um you know over a hundred satisfied customers now and uh i just keep pumping them out so there you go that's uh, pretty much a dell uh, power edge 6800 1560 watt redundant power supply repurposed into a 13 to 14.2 volt uh, DC power supply for your ham gear, RC cars, CBs, whatever you want to run with it. These are great units. They're stout. They're fully protected and they do a great job. So there you go. Thanks for looking and have a good one.